All right, it's time for the Legal Minute now with Paul Harding from Martin Harding Amazadi. Good morning, Paul. Hey, good morning, Mike. Hey, good morning, how you? Good morning. How's it going? <laughs> good, good. Hey, listen, I, I got a friend. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the friend question. Who was, no, actually, no, I'm curious. Like, let's say you're, you're, uh, you're, you're innocently, you're minding your own business, you're listening to your favorite song, you're cruising up the road. You see the traffic light, okay? And, and, and it's yellow, and you go through it. And then all of a sudden, the blue lights are behind you. And he's telling you, hey, you ran the red light. Yeah. You know, probably a common potential theme, you know, for someone uh, just cruising around. I, I, I get the call all the time. People say it was green or amber, and I got a ticket. So the police, of course, uh, are there. They write the ticket. You know, you don't have a lot of negotiating power there. Right. Yeah. The question comes in is, can you do better, you know, at a court of law? Right. Yeah. There it really comes, you know, when you're, when you're sort of, an individual against a police officer, uh, you tend to be in a difficult position. The trials that I've seen one, well, you go to trial, the police officer doesn't show up, you win. So I've seen those win, and those are usually, uh, you know, a good day for the for the motorist if they just kind of end up walking out with a ticket dismissed because it's not a police officer at the trial. Right. But the times I've seen it happen is when you have a dis interested witness who's willing to come to court with you and doesn't happen much I've only seen it a couple times but it would be you know the car next to you or or somebody who uh just sort of you know, that you you noticed at the scene or, or a gas station that was next door and you pulled in and they said hey you know I, I i watched that unfold you know and it was amber and so without a disinterested witness usually not a good result what if there's a traffic cam up on there do can you actually say hey i want to see the video of that yeah yeah you know these days right life's changing with these traffic cams uh you can and sometimes uh, i know that it's happened with crime scenes less so when you're fighting tickets but uh even neighboring you know parking lots that have cameras that sort of extend beyond their parking lot it depends how much time and energy you want to put into it it's not really a discovery process but so i, I don't know if someone actually pulling that off but but sure, if yeah. you have access to that, it's, it's evidence that could be shown at trial. You know what I feel like? If you went through a red light, you know if you went through a red light. You, right? Like, you, you know do. if you went through a red light or if it's yellow. Yeah. Yep, you, you do. And I've, you know, I've been known to kind of, you know, you speed up a little bit. I've actually put my visor down so I couldn't see it turn red. You know, somehow, like, oh, okay. like a kid, like, you can't see it. You know. It's but not it there. Work. Yeah, because <laughs> the, the, police, the police, again, they tend to be at a vantage point. And they tend truly to have no motivation other than, um, you Safety. know, to, yeah. Sort of, yeah. So yeah, true. red, you get a ticket. Sometimes the best thing to do is just kind of show up in court and try to plead it down. Um, and then uh, maybe take one of those point reduction classes. And yeah, slow, okay. slow down slow down when it's yellow. And you, yeah. Or, well, of yeah, course, exactly. yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Paul, hey, have a great week. We'll talk to you again. Yeah, thanks, Paul. Okay, guys. Thank you.